What's up with you, YouTube? Um, it's your guy, man, Silver Stacks Prepper, back at you again with another banger Dundini. Um, couple pickups today. Um, had a buyer for some of those five ounce bars, um, and went and, um, traded in some stuff I was tired of looking at, um, into the shop, man, to get some, uh, some new silver and, uh, and add a few more ounces to the stack. So this is a 10 ounce bar. Um, I had to have this uh, bar is uh, pretty damn cool, man. Pretty damn cool. Um, 10 Troy ounces of silver, 999. I forgot who this, um, I want to say Monarch. No, it's not Mon Monarch. I forgot who the company is that makes these with these three skulls uh, on them. But I love the loaf type bars. Um, beautiful beautiful silver here um real quick yeah 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 yeah. before i get too too started too going with the video um i want to say man i'm looking to reach i was trying to get 100 125 likes on the five ounce giveaway bar um the five ounce bar giveaway excuse me um but the like button is moving slow man so you know make sure you guys share it and uh if you didn't get a chance to like it go back and like that video um and leave the timestamp. Uh, in the comments of when I said that word, when I said that word, that's how you qualify to win. So the, the giveaway is still happening. It's still going. Um, I'm just waiting for it to uh, to get some more likes, man. Um, if push come to shove, um, the lowest amount I'll take is 65 likes. So we just may be waiting a little bit longer, man. But, you know, nothing like a little anticipation um, to make the win. Uh, the giveaway worth it, man. So, yeah, still looking to give it away. Um, not a problem giving it away. Uh, just need to get them likes up, man. I mean, you know, I've even compromised on, on the amount that I said that I would uh, even uh, uh, take to give it away. But, yeah, the giveaway still happening, man. I hope the lucky winner gets that five ounces. If I was you guys, I would say really look at the video and really look at the timestamp. Um, a lot of people are, you know, um, a lot of people are, you know, they, 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 they almost there. Like it's, it's right there. You know what I mean? But, but, but a lot of people are missing the mark, man. So maybe people just come in and they just see what other people are commenting and, and maybe they just marking it, but it's only a few people that actually got it, uh, exactly right. It's only a couple few people, few people that actually got it right. So another little, little clue there for you but um anyway yeah man um had to pick up some stuff want to talk about that canadian 80 percent, man i love canadian man canadian is beautiful man this is a 1963 canadian dollar mama there go that chick again man look this chick is on everything this is when she was young and fun man you know she'll give it to you and get you sprung you dig what i'm saying um but yeah this is this is real nice man okay so let's just compare the ages man look at this chick you know a little old woman here little young woman here you know what i mean um but we'll get to that one in a minute but yeah i like these um you know um but i don't like them as much as i like and then i got a 63 and i got a 62 right canadian silver dollar. these are 90 percent canadian um junk silver what we call junk silver is 80 percent american junk silver is 90 percent so out of all the canadian dollars i like these the most these are called the death totems um the native americans um didn't like this dollar when it came out they wanted to do something to celebrate the native americans the indig indigenous people of the land of canada however they put what you call the native americans called the death totem on here so it became a bad omen a bad luck um and so they hurried up and changed it uh to to these here but yeah so these are kind of iconic these are really nice to collect these have more of a historical value on it of canada's mess up um about thinking that they was you know um doing something nice it got the 1858 to 1958 uh bicentennial numbers on it and then here is a another one um that's not as in good a shape as as the other one so something i want to say um i was talking to a friend of mine earlier and we was talking about a coin being cleaned um how you know it's been cleaned and how you know it it hasn't been cleaned and so let's talk about that 
Okay, so when I turn this left to right, do you see those little those little things moving on the side here? On each side, when I move it, it kind of turns. They call that a wagon wheel, right? There we go. They call that a wagon wheel. That's the sheen from the factory, from the mint, right? It's still an original sheen, right? Look at that. It's a wagon wheel. You turn it, it goes all the way around it. Here, the light reflects. It goes around. It's like a wagon wheel. That's what they call it. That's how you know a coin hasn't been cleaned, right? Because cleaning takes that sheen off, that shine off. Look at that wagon wheel, right? You see that? That's how you know when a coin has not been cleaned. I mean, this is, you can see scuff marks, contact marks. This has been in circulation, and but it hasn't been cleaned, right? You see that moving? That's how you know it hasn't been cleaned. So anyway, out of the, all the Canadian dollars, I really like these the most. Um, okay, so 80% you want to stack. You can stack the Canadian dollars, dimes, uh, that type of thing, man. So yeah, so... This is a Chinese panda. This is a coin, right? This is a Chinese panda. This is China's silver dollar, right? For this 2015, this is a Chinese silver dollar, right? Beautiful um, artwork on there. I really like the Chinese pandas. These are pretty expensive. This was 30... 35 uh something like that 32 32 dollars normally these are are more expensive than american silver eagles right so this is chinese dollar or silver ounce and this is americans so america silver ounce this is a silver eagle both of them are one ounce this was 31 this was like 35 both one ounce um yeah this is a britannia yeah, this is a Britannia. This is a 2021 Britannia. Um, you can see it has a little security feature right here on it. Um, and also her shield has a security feature. This is Britannia um, with the ocean. See the waves of the ocean? That's a security feature. How the waves are, how they change there. You see that? Yeah, so that's a security feature. The Britannia, I really love the Britannia. These are all triple nines fine. I really love the Britannia. Um, beautiful coin to stack. I bought a I got a couple of those today. Um, I just thought I need to add a couple loose ones to my uh, capsule collection. I do got some in capsules, but yeah. And so I got these two too. These are after the standing Liberty quarters. These are generic one ounce rounds so these are one ounce silver rounds these are one ounce silver coins the reason why this is a coin and th because it has a a, a a government backing it or a country or continent backing its silver and value it has a value on it this doesn't this is backed by america and it has a value on it it's worth even though it's say it's one dollar i mean nobody would go in the store and spend this for a dollar you'd be a fool right so these are coins if it's backed by a country right so what is this one what is this one right two pounds right so this is backed by a country so this is a silver one ounce coin this is a generic even though it says united states of america Triple nine is fine. This is a one troy ounce. This is a generic one ounce round. You do not see a dollar amount on it. Like it, it's United States worth five dollars, right? I mean, I should have brought my Canadian maples out. Um, they're worth five dollars. So it's a, it's a coin. That's a difference. And so this is iconic. This is an iconic silver round because, um, and I should have got a standing Liberty quarter out because the standing Liberty quarter came out in America, I think it was 1925, her breast was out. And the people in America had a fit, right? They were supposed to be this wholesome country. They had a fit. They wanted it removed out of circulation. It was, it was porn. Uh, it was porn. It was, you know, it was just nasty. They said, I mean, you know, so the country's morals was going down. Yeah, the country's morals is down um, with all this weirdness going on. But anyway, I digress. Um, 
Yeah, so, you know, her breast is out, her breast is showing, but I love these, man. I love, these are some of my favorite generic silver rounds. I'm glad I went in the shop today to pick these up. Boom. And then here's two more generic silver rounds, right? Now, this one is iconic. Everybody kind of knows. This is 70-something, let me see. 1973. Honest value never fails, right? The USS Constitution. And as a constitution on the back, this is like that don't tread on me type of, uh, but these are just nice. I love these. Um, it's one called Honest Charlie. That's just like their honest value. Yeah, 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 honest value. Yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. I like these because of the ship. And then this one is a prospector, right? It's good. Uh, it has some good artwork on it. Beautiful. One Troy ounce, 999 fine silver, man. Okay, so I want to do something. A friend of mine, I was talking to a friend of mine today, and we was talking about, well, how can you tell if something's real, man? You know, like you don't got the acid. Um, let me see. What did I do with it? Okay. So I ordered one of these. I never had one of these before. This is a coin ping test, right? <clears throat> coin P test, a stack or two. Numis missed. Let me see. Boom. Let's put it out. Go and tear the damn thing out. Right? I can't just open the thing. Right? I got to tear the damn thing up. Okay. So, this is how this works. Right? So, we're just going to keep this on here so it keep up with it. But it got these little pieces on here because you don't want to scratch up your... You don't want to scratch up your coin. Right? So, you're going to put your coin... Or your silver round in between here, right? And you're gonna ping. You're gonna ping it. And it'll make a sound. All right, so that's how you know your coin is real, right? Because it's going to make a different sound. Now, if you had something fake and you thought it was fake, then you would take this out and you would put the other one in and you would... It's going to make a different sound. So that's nine, that's 999, right? So let's take this out. Let's put one of these Canadian dollars in here. Listen to the sound. Hear the difference in the sound? That's a ping test. This is what this is for, and I'm gonna take all this off. But this, this is these are on here so you don't scratch up your coin or your silver, right? You hear that? That's what the eighty percent sound like. And the ninety percent, I don't have none out here. But the ninety percent is gonna sound different, obviously, right? Let's put another one in here, a different one in here. Wait, let's get him in the middle. But I mean, that sounds just like the other one. Get used to those sounds. Know those sounds. Learn those sounds. Those sounds are your friend, man. You know, you can walk in somewhere and just pull this out your pocket. And then you'll know what you're working with. And that's that's good. You want to know what you're working with. All right, let's put another one in here. Sound just like that other one I put in there, right? This is how you know you got 999, right? Beautiful thing, man. Yeah, I just wanted to holler at everybody, man, and, um, you know, do a little quick video. And, um, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Now, check this out. Y'all know about these, right? These sheets of $2 bills, right, that the... Um, that the mint makes right so i just wanted to do my video on that but yeah man so anyway this is uh this was just a quick little video shout out to my partner ap um who uh who we was talking about this today about testing the silver man he got a he bought one from somewhere man it said it was a one ounce round um, one, excuse me, one ounce Troy, Troy ounce silver. Um, it was made like a walk in Liberty with the year 1902 for the Morgan dollar. 
Um, and, it, and a couple pieces, it slipped past me. You know what I mean? He told me to look at it. I was like, man, it looked good. But it, it was in the picture. I wasn't holding it. You know, um, he said he had it from a reputable person. So, I mean, I wasn't going to dissect it too much, you know, but it turned out to be fake. So, AP, man, I hope you get one of these. Um, these little ping testers, at least that, man. If not, you can get the little acid kit. Um, but, yeah, y'all, man, I just want to say what's up, man. Shout out to everybody. Um, my partner, AP, man, he, gonna be, uh, he got a different YouTube name. I don't know what he's going to name his uh, channel, but... Um, shout out to him, man. He's fixing to do some smelting. He's been smelting some aluminum. He's going to do some silver and stuff. So shout out to him, man. I will shout out his channel when he get it going. Um, shout out to 99 Fabrication, man. Um, I really, really like his channel, man. But real quick, man, I just wanted to, just wanted to say, man, um, I got my firearm rights, right? I, I got my. I got my firearm arm rights, man. So um, that's that's what's up, man. Got my firearm rights back. I will be doing some firearms, probably make a firearm channel, something like that. Do a 300 blackout or um, what, staccato or something like that, man. Leave, leave a comment, man. Tell me how you test your silver and also leave a comment and tell me about, you know, what's your favorite, your favorite firearm, man? Is it a home defense uh, firearm or something like that. But, yeah, I'll be going live tomorrow at 4 p.m. West Coast time. West Coast is the best coast, baby. But anyway, y'all, man, stay up, man. Stay tuned, man. Be blessed. Sleep well. Um, enjoy the weather. It's, it's kind of warm over here. Sunny today. Beautiful day, man. It's uh, Let me see right now. It's 8.36 p.m. on the West Coast time. Shout out to everybody, man. Blessed.